talked about uh, this of the cells on in bean cells human cheek cells we have discussed in this slide and uh, about robert brown who discovered a nucleus we have discussed about uh, that and uh, today it is most important uh, to discuss about diversity in cells so here we can see here what is the special case of the cell and uh, how they are similar whether cells are similar in size and uh, what type of experiments will give us uh, that similarity whether in case of onion uh, experiment you have seen what are the cells are there here uh, uh, rectangular cells will be arranged like this here these cells are uh, similar or otherwise they function same and how they differ uh, will be there here and uh, if you remember uh, different types of organisms will have different types of cell composition here that means here ant will, ant will have one type of cell one type of uh, composition and an, uh, an uh, a cow will have a different composition human will have a cell of different composition here and uh, there are uh, smaller organisms like amoeba uh, paramecium or chlamydomonas and uh, uh, different kinds of uh, organisms that means these are all uh, very smallest organisms here so with the com composition of the cells here there are uh, diversity of organisms are there here first to say that uh, depending upon cell there are two different types of organisms here unicellular organisms here and multicellular organisms here so what are they here unicellular means one uni one cell organism uh, having only one cell in its body multicellular means here more than one more than one cell is there in that organism means they are known as multicellular organisms best example is human and here best example is paramecium amoeba chlamydomonas so these are the organisms here uni means in greek language single multi means here in greek language many so this we need to remember and uh, in some uh, in these uh, animals here uh, in a single cell animals that means unicellular organisms or multicellular organisms uh, respiration how we breathe and uh, how uh, we uh, excrete and how growth will be there how reproduction will be there so these all will be maintained even in one cell or even in multicellular organisms here for example if you just see uh, humans can move from that means humans can move from one place to another place even though uh, same ant also will move from one place to another place here so movement is safe here but cells are different here so cells may be few here cells may be many here uh, here bones will be there muscles will be there skin will be there like that these cells will be helping here leg cells will be helping for movement so in a unicellular organisms or multicellular organisms the cell function will be same in case of some criteria here if we see next uh, uh, diagram based one uh, this uh, this one is known as the chlamydomonas unicellular organism here it has only single cell here and uh, can you see here this kind of organism is there you can see here chlamydomonas these two hair like structures uh, these are known as uh, tentacles tentacles with the help of that only it uh, moves in the water usually this chlamydomonas will uh, live in water here so uh, with the help of uh, these tentacles or otherwise called as antenna uh, so with the help of these they will smell food and they will go from one place to another place so that kind of organism is called as chlamydomonas then if we refer to amoeba here amoeba is also a unicellular organism uh, which consists of only single nucleus this nucleus and uh, it is called as pseudopodia for example if this is a rough uh, diagram of uh, amoeba uh, it is called uh, it consists of single nucleus single nucleus means here single cell is present and uh, it consists of can you see this kind of structure these kind of structures are called as false feet what is that uh, false feet here amoeba does not have feet but it consists of false feet that means here pseudopodia is present pseudopodia pseudo means false podos means feet podia or podos one and the same that means this small organism here for example it will live in the water if this is a tree or land this is the water in the water these amoeba will be living so they have a false feet not like our uh, human feet here with the help of this it will move from one place to another place and uh, moreover here if you see clearly uh, contractile vacuole is present here this contractile vacuole so what is that contractile uh, vacuole here 
contractual vacuum uh, will help in getting food from other sources for example a small fish have been died in the water so that fish material will be distributed in the ocean like that and that smallest particle will reach into the amoeba and this process uh, very clearly you will learn in 10th standards in the further classes and this food material will be equally distributed throughout the amoeba and uh, then it will digest the food materials after that remaining any waste materials are there means it will release from the other end so this is these two are what unicellular organism one is chlamydomonas one is amoeba both are unicellular organisms and here if you see bacteria this is very old type of cells here escherichia coli it is present in our intestine usually food poison will be there here junk food you will be eating so while you are eating junk foods what will happen here uh, good bacteria will be disturbed in your body this is a good bacteria which is present in our intestine so when you eat junk foods outside whatever foods are available then if you are eating uh, that what will happen here so in your body in the intestine these good bacteria will be disturbed such that what will happen you may get warm things or otherwise you will be getting diarrhea that is called as loose motions and this is called as uh, bacteria escherichia coli is the bacteria and uh, whenever you see uh, escherichia coli these are called as a uh, scientific names scientific names will be having two names here one starts with capital letter and one starts with small letter escherichia coli the name of this bacteria is escherichia coli which is present in our intestine and uh, next here a glass blade is there here glass blade means here usually uh, grass you will see outside so that grass if you just put under microscope you can see blade like structures here those are called as cells in onion like this cells we have seen but in case of uh, grass green grass you will see this kind of things now if we come to activity 6 then we will discuss about this activity so what is that activity here observing leaves in a cell so for this uh, most important first we need to get uh, a grass from outside wherever garden is there or otherwise wherever in front of our home garden also uh, grass will be there so normally a grass we need to bring like this the grass will be there here then just a small piece of that grass we need to put over slide glass slide a small portion like this you need to put over slide after that you need to cover with the help of cover slip then just focus under microscope just focus under microscope after focusing under microscope what we will see usually here we will see uh, this kind of uh, structures here you can see this kind of structures which will be available and this is what about activity 6 now we will just see about a tridax tridax means here that is a grass like plant which is present uh, uh, in the terrestrial land that means outside uh, land and the flower will be like this like this the flower will be there and uh, having long stalk and this if we just take if we cut a stem of this plant here and just take a round part of that stem that means here uh, as with the help of a blade if you just cut uh, uh, horizontally on the stem part of this flower what will happen here uh, a small round disc like shape will be collected on the slide and after that focus under microscope then after focusing under microscope then you can see these kind of structures so what kind of structures here these are the cells which are present in that uh, tridax plant a spinach or tridax we can uh, try so these cells are uh, protecting cells here a cells are called as protecting b cells will give a fluffiness for the stem here c cells will help in uh, uh, distributing water and b cells will help in uh, food materials and d cells will uh, help in distributing this uh, food materials these kind of structures will be present in that tridax procumbens that means while we are cutting how we need to cut means for example this is the grass plant small plant here disc shape this part we need to cut after uh, putting a uh, over microscope it will appear like that same like this it will appear this is what an experiment to see the cells which are present in the stem that means here we have seen a microorganisms here we have seen the cells which are present in a uh, grass and again tridax plant or spinach plant spinach spinach dal will be made curry by your mother 
so that plant spinach plant or otherwise uh, fried ex plant is important and uh, with this we have uh, finished uh, the basic part of the second chapter here and uh, have a look on this and then we will meet in the next coming class